Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for part 3 of the last 32 round. Yes, we got four more matches to go, go into here. Starting us off, we will see LP Gozzi going up against Dino Nerd. Moloch Horridus taking on Laos, that could be a big clash that. Engineer Gaming going up against Pilk. And then Xeno Slick Goku taking on Nopi. So yes, hope you enjoy these matches. If you do, please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment if you feel like it. And check out my other videos if you want. Of course, you don't have to do all that. But I would like you to. But anyway, enough about that. Let's get on with our first matchup of this session. Which, as I said, is Healthy Gauzy taking on Dino Nerd. Alpha Slash. Yum, yum. Right the Olen in the red corner. For the Gauz man, it is Terry. Terry's pretty much been the... Um, MVP for Team Gauzy in this tournament. We've seen how effective he can be, and we've, well, we saw it pretty much demolish Gypsy Danger on his own in the first round. Hadn't seen too much of what it can do in the last couple of matches, but do not underestimate his strength. Right, as for Dino Nerd in the blue corner, it is a Giganonosaurus. This Giganonosaurus again is kind of underperformed for Dino Nerd, I'd say. It's mainly been Ulura Titan and Super Fairy have been the big threats. But, you never know, this could be Giga's time to shine. Alright, that's a free. Ooh, good start from Terry, getting the first hit. Ooh, another hit from Terry. This is a good start from Gauzy. Oh, look at this! Three hits in a row from Terry! What a start from the Gauzman! Dino Nerd yet to get a hit. Well, there's his hit, and there's the crit, and this crit is going to do a decent amount of damage. I mean, if it was Magma Blaster, it would do an arse turn more, but it's not. It's Crimson Flip. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, nice easy one. They're the ones I like. Boosh! Here comes the fire. We're gonna start a fire. We're gonna start a fire. Get it? Because there's two fire dinosaurs. Oh, well. The hit only that. The, the upshift. The upturn only lasted about two seconds because Gozzy gets the next hit and takes a 1 0 lead. However, now comes the real threats for Team Dino Nerd, starting off with the Ulura Titan. Well, this thing was basically the reason Dino Nerds got to the last 32 round. They had to win two playoff matches to get here, because they were one of the naughty tots that finished on 8 points in 4th place. See, I finished on 8 points, but I was in 3rd. Thankfully, otherwise I would have been... I'd, uh, I'd have to consider myself a naughty tot. Dino Nerd getting a hit. So right now, in terms of hits, I think it's 4-2 to two in Gozzi's favour. But Gozzi only has a slender lead, so I would say Dino Nerd has made better use of his hits. Also, hang on a minute, where's the death fire? Frickin' Terry's health is... Look how low his health is, and there's no death fire. Rubbish, I say, rubbish. And, had Deathfire been triggered, Gozzy would have got the hit and be 2-0 up. Could that come back to haunt him? Oh, what have we got? Oh, it's a heat eruption! No green impulse. Instead, it's a heat eruption. Gozzy getting a cheeky little hit there with Terry, before Terry inevitably bites the big one. Pew! I still feel like Gozzy should have gone off Deathfire, but oh well. He still has the lead, but can he hold on to it? Well, there goes there goes Terry. On to Gozzy's second dino, the Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. Actually, yeah, something similar to that happened to Gecko in their first match against Ultima Dino Queen, and it cost them. Because if they got the Deathfire off in that match, they would have won. They would have 100% won that match against Queen. 
Will we see it in this match? Well, Dino has got a bit of catching up to do first. Does have the Super Fairy waiting in the wings, mind. And Dino has made a couple of quite a few comebacks in this tournament. Is he making another one? I, I should point out that I have an ulcer right in the back of my throat. Well, it's like, I don't know where to put, where I can describe. It's like on the inner rim of my lower jaw on the right side. So it's basically rubbing against my tongue every time I talk. It feels like it feels like I'm licking a cactus with the bottom of my tongue. That's how it feels every time I talk. Mental, isn't it? And I just can't get rid of it. Oh, oops, oops, I moved the thing again. Oh, Dino Nur getting a hit, coming back into it. Oh, that's a tie! No green impulse though, but Ulura Titan definitely proven why it's a threat. Well, there goes Ulura Titan, but the Alpha Acro is clinging on by a thread. But it does have the protection of Dino Stuffer, so even if this fairy gets off a crit, it will not kill the Acro. The Acro will survive. So, safe to say, well, even if Gauzy goes scissors, a tie will still kill the Acro, so, yeah. But the ideal move for Gauzy here would actually be scissors. It would, it would guarantee that he would deal damage to the fairy. And that little bit of damage can make a big difference. Oh, look, the, the random number generator agrees. Oh, look at that, it's a firebomb. See, I, I said this is, this is the best move to go because Dino Nerd cannot go wrong. Cannot go, well, they can go for the crit, but won't get it off because of Dino Stuff. Right, that's once. Well, look at this. Alpha Acro dealing some damage to the fairy and Elty Gauzy on the brink of winning. Oh, that's a tie. Well, that's all the the. Acro's going to be doing, but look at the damage it's done. One hit from this Kralophosaurus will win it for Gauzy. Well, can Gauzy see this home, or can Dino Nerd produce a comeback? Well, he does have the Awaken mode next round, so let's take that into account. So if the Fairy can get the next hit, it is on for Dino Nerd to snatch this match. Oh, it's a tie! Oh, could this be a turning point? Has Dino Nerd. Can Dino Nerd snatch this with the Awaken mode? The odds will now be in his favour. A tie will not be enough for Gauzy to win now. Dino Nerd can snatch it. Oh, it's a oh, look at that! Oh, the time recovery effect there! Oh, it's a time! Oh. Well. Um. This is awkward. This is very awkward. I I I I, di I didn't anticipate a tie. Um, well, um, I I I don't really know what to do. I I I didn't anticipate a tie. I didn't anticipate the tie. A, a tie happening at this stage in the tournament. Okay, so as you saw in that match up there, it ended in a draw. I know people would be like, oh, but the crowd survived. No, the crowd died in the tie, but the game doesn't like to do draws, so it just gives the cryo an extra bit of life so yes that match did in fact end in a draw and because it is and because we have to have a winner in this match we are going to do what i like to call a straight one-on-one -on -one shot one-on-one -on -one match for the win so in this case it will be it will be the first dino from both combatants teams so in this case it is terry going up against giganomosaurus and the winner will go through and it's that simple so yeah Let's get let's get started, shall we? 
and let's see who has enough fuel left in the tank to get that last 16 spot. Will it be Gozzy or will it be Dino Nerd? Well, let's be on. I don't know, actually. I think Gozzy did well to cling on to... I think even though Gozzy had the upper hand throughout most of the match, it felt like they had to rescue themselves with those draws. Oh, that's a tie! Oh, Dino Nur gets the first hit! But Gozzy strikes back! Please don't end in a tie again. I mean, I only entered the codes for the first for the first dinos. <laughs> Ikazo! Ooh, could that be it for Gozzy? Can he snatch it with a death fire? Like, you go back to right at the start of the match where the death Terry sh where the death fire should have been triggered, and then the next round Gozzy got a hit, so at that point, he should have been 2-0 up and would have won this match by now. But he makes up for it, yeah! Get it off that death fire and get in the win over Dino Nerd in the end. Well, <laughs> What a chaotic match that was! And in the end, Gozzy getting off the death fire on the second time of asking to get himself through to the last 16 round and knock out Dino Nerd. Well, entertaining that was, wasn't it? And I don't see how these next three matches are going to emulate this one, but we'll see because up next, up next we are going to see Moloch Horridus taking a crack at Lousp. Well, in the red corner, for Moloch Horridus, we have a Zychania. Moloch Horridus, surprisingly, winning Group C, doing really well in Group C. Got a big win over the champ last time out, going into this on red-hot form. So it's going to be a tough match for Lousp. Although it could have been tougher because he could have faced Ultima Dino King. But in the blue corner for Lousp, we have Ankyceratops. Lousp also impressive in the group stage. Has never, fa has, has never failed to reach at least the semi-finals of any of my tournaments. And in fact, I think has been in almost every final bar one. So yes, the ser our serial winner, Lousp. Looking to, looking to make yet another final appearance again. But I feel like this is going to be his toughest match so far. Because Moloch Corridus has done really well in this tournament. And I got a big win over Ultimate Dino King last time out. This could be interesting because Anki Ceratops usually would be favourable in ties, but this Cychania is a tie specialist. So I feel like Lyce is going to need some counter blitzes here. Well, look at this! Going to need more than counter blitz at this rate. A crit from the Cychania and a strong start from Moloch. Wow, no counter blitz. I did enter counter blitz, right? <laughs> oh, I should have. Oh, look at this! Anki Ceratops gone already! Moloch Horridus, what a start from them! Right, time for Laos' second dino. It is Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Well, this could be. This Laos might actually be in a bit of trouble here, although a saving grace is that this Alpha Acro does have the type advantage over Moloch's second dino, which is Lillian Sterner, so. That is a saving grace, and he does have the dino stuffer, so he does have some protection, but Laos needs to get going here. Well, there's his first hit of the match. I hope, well, I suspect it won't be his last. Add in the poison as well. That was a good hit from our serial winner. Laos has won more tournaments than anybody. Oh, look at this. All of a sudden, a sidechain here, it being dispatched. Well, I suspect it's, it'll be dispatched. Yep, down she goes. And, well, more poison, because, you know, needs it. Now, this is the tight disadvantage I was talking about. For Moloch's second I know it is Lillian Sturness. Things were looking promising for Moloch, but now all of a sudden, it, they themselves might be in a bit of a pickle. The Alpha Acro looking unstoppable. 
Well, the one saving grace this thing has is its crit, is Mayfly, so... But, the Acro has Dino Stuffer, so the Acro won't take any damage, and then Mayfly will get triggered, and will deal less damage when if the Lillian's Turnus gets it off. Yeah, you could, yeah, look at that, look at this. Yeah, look at that. I think it's best bet... Rock might not be too bad, though, because... I think this Lillian Sturnus is heroic type, so the rock would deal a more damage. Acro getting a hit, but, you know, that's not the worst case scenario for Moloch. And he does have the Dino Illusion, so he does have protection against the Alpha Acro. Could be a chess match, this could be. <laughs> oh, well, there's the Mayfly, but the Dino Stuffer's gonna say no. Imagine if they removed the Dino Illusion. It'd be so fun. Oh, that's a tie. I would say ties favour Moloch Corridus there, even though he has less health. Well, oh, Laos finally getting rid of that Dino Illusion. And now one Blazing Spin attack will kill Lillian Sternus, definitely. Oh, that's another tie. Slowly but surely, the Lillian Sturnus is chipping away at this Acro. But the Acro, when it gets hit, it leaves a much bigger dent into Lillian Sturnus's health. But a second Dino Illusion will help. Ooh, ooh, another hit from Lillian Sturnus. Molochoridus not going down yet. Ooh, we got a Cyclone. That will also help out Moloch. Well, this Lillian Sternus is holding its own against the Acro. It's not doing much damage, but it is holding its own. Okay, now this should do more damage than the Scissors. Yeah, because it's heroic type. I tell you what, give Moloch its props. His props here. Well, there goes Dino Illusion. This Alpha Acro has taken a beating. So it's not worst case scenario for Moloch. Worst case scenario would have been the Alpha Acro taking no damage and... Blazing spin attack, insta killing the uh, Lillian Sternus. But look at this! Ka a Mayfly would probably put Moloch in the lead, actually. Well, Lillian Sternus is going down, but I tell you what, look at the damage it did. It did so well. And this Spinotector should, keyword should, stop Laos from extending his lead. Not that he has much of a lead. Because it has the type advantage. So Moloch Horridus right in this match. Can they do it? What a double scout this could be for Moloch if they could pull this off. Beating Ultima oh. Dino King and beating oh, Laos in the same Mario. tournament. They were the two finalists last time out. Oh, but even with the type disadvantage, this blazing spin attack's gonna do damage. You spin me right round, baby, right? Whee! Oh, look at that. Even with the tight disadvantage, all that damage. Could that be costly there? Could that be costly? Well, here comes the Aqua Whip, finishing off the Acrocanthosaurus. And evening things up, but that hit from the Alpha Acro could come back to haunt Moloch. Or it could not. Right, now for Laos' third dino, it is the Ferrazinosaurus. Laos definitely being pushed in this match. And will do well to win. Well, it would be a great, it would be a big win for Laos if they can get this done. Moloch has definitely not been a pushover. Oh, it's a crit! Laos on the brink of getting that last 16 spot. Where LP Gozzi waits. Ooh, however. Futaba Cannon. Could Moloch snatch this match away from Laos? Boosh! Hmm, <coughs> now things get interesting. Who will get the next hit? Oh, it's Moloch! Has he done it? Has he done it? Has he done it? 
I I think the fairy is probably going to survive. The boy almost died. On the brink. Mouth on the brink of elimination. This is what it's all about. Oh, it's done! Well, well, well. For the first time in my tournament, we are not going to see Laos in the semi-finals. Moloch Horridus adding yet another big victory to the record. Massive win for Moloch there and could they be one to watch in this tournament? Big statement win over Laos. A statement win over Ultimate Dino King in the group stage as well. Let's not forget that. Well, you have to say, Moloch Oridus could go all the way here. Yeah. You beat the two finalists the last time out. You're going to go far in this tournament. Moloch Oridus could be one to watch. And I think all the other combatants left are taking notes. Well, well, Gozzi, you might as well pack your bags for the last 16 round because you're not going to beat Moloch. <laughs> Reset this real quick. So yes, Moloch Horridus pulling off another big win over a heavy, over a big old heavyweight. Wow. Well, well, at least we're going to have a different final this time. So we're not going to have Laos in the final again. <laughs> Imagine if there's Moloch Horridus in the final. <laughs> But yeah, that is enough about that match. Wow, what a video has been so far. Epic. Subscribe for epic matches. And stunning upsets. Right, on to our third matchup now, which sees Engineer Gaming going up against Pilk. Well, I don't know how, how this match is going to emulate the first two matches, but well, <laughs> I said that I'm doing the second match, so you never know. Right. In the red corner, for Engineer Gaming, we got an Acrocanthosaurus. Engineer Gaming, topping Group A in style. And, well, um, I, I'm, I'm usually not biased in these matches, but Engineer Gaming saved you from getting knocked out of the group stage, so I'm, I'm fully behind you, Engineer Gaming. But, in the blue corner, for Pilt the Milk, we got Alexovasaurus. Can Pilt get a win over Engineer Gaming? Or can Engineer Gaming continue their impressive form in this tournament? I believe last 32 was where Engineer Gaming fell last time, so... Doesn't have a good record in the knockout rounds, but they've only played one knockout match. Or was it last... It might have been last 16, actually, where they lost. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, what a star from Engineer Gaming. It's a burning dash. Oh, he saw how mighty this Acrocanthosaurus can be. I should point out, if it does get past this Laxovasaurus, which it looks like it... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Loads of damage! Well, it looks like it's going to get past it. Acro will have the type advantage over Pilt, Stack and Diamond. Ooh, Pilt doesn't need the Crystal Crusher though. Getting off a hit. That could be a crucial hit going forward. He needs to take away as much of this Acro's health as possible. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, look at this from Pilk. It's a Quake Saber. Pilk turning this match around and is going to be going 1 0 in front. Pilk avoiding the bad match up there with the Acro with Fizzy Strip the Spondylus. How key could that be? Although the Lexovasaurus is clinging on by a threat, so it's not much of a lead. Right, as for Engineer Gaming's second dino, we have a Panoplosaurus. I'm sorry, Pelk, it's nothing personal. It's just, like, if, if you had saved me from getting knocked out of the group stage, I'd be rooting for you. But Engineer Gaming saved me, so I'm rooting for them. <laughs> no, I'm not rooting for anybody. I, I, don't, I don't care for things. Just want a good match, I do. I just want epic matches, like the first two. Well, there goes Pilk's lead. And Engineer Gaming evens a scorn. Well, I think this is the first time in this tournament where Engineer Gaming has actually been losing. So I think every time they've been 1-0 up. So yeah, it could be a test for the could be a test of their character. Yeah. Right, as for Pilk's second dino, it is a strike to Spondylus. 
Well, he avoided the bad matchup with the acro, so that's tick one for Pelk. Has the protection of Dino Illusion as well. So, this... I feel like whoever... If Pilk can get some early momentum and kill this Panoplosaurus, so he will have a type advantage over Engineer Gaming's third Dino, which is Super Karifa. Ooh, that's a tie. Don't really suit anyone ties, to be honest. Maybe suits you Strepto more, seems to take less damage. Oh, it's a crit from the Panoplo. Engineer Gaming regaining the lead. But the Dino Illusion has been triggered, so we won't be extending that lead anytime soon. Instead, it's going to be Pilk getting striking back with a crit. And getting off a Cyclone as well. So Pilk has got double protect. Well, he's completely protected at this point. Because even if he, even if he loses this, they'll just, just, just do it. Just do it. Well, even though he lost, the Dino Illusion protected him. If it was a tie, he would have got the hit. And obviously, if he had won, he would have got the hit anyway. So, no matter what, Engineer Gaiman was not doing damage to him. Complete protection there from Pilk. And now, getting off a Dino Swing. Pilk retaking the lead. And another Cyclone as well. Pelt looking pretty solid in this matchup. Oh, there's a tie, but that Cyclone's gonna let Pilk attack, which means that it's gonna be a 2 1 lead for Pilk. And now, this Ustrep the Spondylus will have the tight advantage over Engineer Gaming's third Dino. Although, it does have quite low health, so I don't know if that'll be much of a tight advantage, but you never know. Right, as for Engineer Gaming's third and final dino, it is Super Karifasaurus, the Awaken Mode on two. And I think he's going to need that Awaken Mode to get back in this match. Oh, that's a tie. Another tie. Ties will suit Pilk though, but ideally you'll want to get a hit with this Ustrep the Spondylus and he's not going to get one. Instead, it's going to be a Dino Force from the Kurifo. Well, provided I get this right, Ustrep the Spondylus will die. Okay, yeah, I think even if I mess up here, which I haven't, Ustrep the Spondylus is going down. Okay, that is pretty, that's a pretty cool move. I, like, I really like that move. That's awesome. Right then, now for Pilk's third and final dino. It is Ampelosaurus. This is a very tight match. Just when I thought Pilk was turned pulling away, Engineer Gaming comes back into it. Well, you can't say Pilk has a sizable lead, but it does have a lead. Please don't end in another draw. I can't afford, I can't be bothered to do another tiebreaker. Please. Well, it's Ampelosaurus getting the first hit. Okay, that's once. Oh, it's another Dino Force! Has Engineer Gaming retaken the lead? Wow, Engineer Gaming getting really lucky with his, with his hits all being crits. And well, it's helped him stay in it. And yes, you got to watch Dino Force yet again. <laughs> Boosh! Uh, I think that would have been overkill. If we had seen, like, the um, Seismosaurus again. The Supersaurus. Oh, wake a mode, wake a mode! Winky winky time! Oh, for his Ampelosaurus getting the hit! And the light recovery. I think it's light recovery, or it might be normal recovery. Gotta find out now. Emerald Garden getting triggered. Okay, yeah, it's light recovery. 
Of course it's like recovery, he's got freaking aqua whip. Look at this! Engineer gaming on the brink of an animation. Oh, is it tie? Oh, I, for I, for I forgot he's got tie attack, haven't it? And there it is! Engineer gaming, despite a strong group stage, is getting knocked out of the last 32 by Pilk. And I'd say that is a well-deserved win for Pilk. Very well played, sir. And it is a lovely safe passage for you into the last 16 round. Who will your opponent be? Well, you're going to find out after this next matchup, aren't you? Speaking of the next matchup, let's get on with it. As we will see, Zeno Slick Goku going up against Nopi. Right then, <laughs> on, to our, on to our final match. In the red corner, for Zeno, we've got a Pentaceratops. Zeno Slick Goku doing relatively well in the group stage of the, of the of the tournament so far well yeah they did yeah they did well in the group stage however in the blue corner for Nopi we have we have tank which is MVP for team Nopi and Nopi doing really well in their group stage I believe winning their group if I remember correctly Nopi looking pretty strong can they get up can they get a win over Zeno, which will take them through to the last 16 with a face pelk. Do, 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 do. Bow, meow. Well, I put it this way if this match ends in a draw and we go to a one on one shootout, I'm pretty confident no people win that shootout because Tank well, has the type advantage over the pen. I think for my next tournament. What I'll do is allow people to choose which dinosaur they want to use doing the one-on-one -on -one showdowns if they need to, if that happens. Of course, like well, all the tournament matches I've done, and that's the first time I've had to do that. I mean, yeah, there were ties during my fire tournament in particular, but they were one-on-one -on -one fights anyway, so I just did them again. Well, there's another tie. This is a good start from Zeno. Ooh, but Nopi getting the hit. Defense boost getting going there. I would say, even if, even with a type disadvantage, you don't want to be hit by that crit from the Penta. It could rip, it could rip Tank a new one. Although, Tank could rip Dino as a new one with her crit. Defense boost maxed up now, so I think even a crit won't kill her now. Oh, it's a Papasaurus. It's the tag team. No be not dealing damage there. Papasaurus coming in to protect her teammate. I say it's a her. I mean, look at the colours. I say it's a her. I could be wrong. It could be a he. Oh, Pentaceratops coming in here with a light recovery. Zeno not done yet. But yeah, look at that. Defense boost on the super defense type tank is pretty powerful. Well, I'd say effective more than powerful. Oop, another crit from Tank. Will this be all she wrote for Pentaceratops? No. However, this hit will be all she wrote for Pentaceratops. And it is Nopi going 1-0 in front. Although, I suspect they will, be only, they will only be going 1-0 in front because... This next dino, the Karanosaurus, has a type advantage over Tank, and I suspect Zeno will take advantage of that type advantage. I should also point out that both of these two have Sorophaganax inferred, so it could be interesting, couldn't it? Of course, if Nopi is in the lead when Sorophaganax comes in with his Super Barry, he could have a type advantage there. Well, that should... Actually, no, it won't be. Because the def oh, yeah, yeah. Even, even with a defense boost, super defensive resilience, that's all she wrote for Tank. Right, now for Nopi's second dino, and it is a super duper Barry. The Awaken Mode on free, of course. And we are back at level pecking. Wow, this has been another even contest so far. All the matches have been back and forth, been really thrilling, really good to see. Not oh, that's a tie. 
the two platoon crush has been triggered and it's been activated. Big damage coming, Baryonyx's way. I think this Coronosaurus has more, might have a sliver more health than the Barry, so the Hunter type effect will be, should be, okay, maybe not. Curse once. Ooh, but the Barry responds with a crit of his own. It's an Aqua Web. But this wick won't do as much damage as that 2 platoon crush did. But at least it deals damage to the Karanosaurus and big damage. Ooh, a shockwave as well. That also guarantees that Karanosaurus will not get Emerald Garden off. Because Note Beat will be going for Rock. You can't go paper. You can't go paper. And you can't go paper. That's better. Take the tie like a man. No. Oh, we got another two platoon crush. Well, it's kind of wasted because the Barry's on like low health, but it prevents the awaken mode and it gives Xeno Slick Goku a 2 1 lead. Wow, look at Did you just see that seam on the size on the Supersaurus then? <laughs> terrible, that was terrible. Look, you might see it. Okay, maybe not from there. Well then, here comes one of the two Sorofragon axes. This one is no beast. Haven't seen too much of this thing, to be honest. And, mm, it's mainly just been there to pick things off. But it's going to have his work cut out here if no B wants to get back in this match and stay in this tournament. Oh, it's a tie. Ties will suit Zeno though. Again, triggering that two platoon crash. Not going for it this time. Okay, yeah, there it is. There goes Karanosaurus. And Nopi pulls it back. But his Sorofagon axe did take a little bit of damage. And that could make all the difference. Given it is a mirror match now. Because we have Sorofagon axe for Zeno as well. Although, Zeno's, I think, has a little bit more oomph to his than Nopi's does. Will that extra bit of oomph make the difference? Or will Nopi's Sorofagon X pull through? Ooh, we got a Dromeo Rush. Nopi's Sorofagon X getting the hit and Nopi retaking the lead. Shlippy, shlippy, shlap, shlap. But the Magma Blaster has been triggered. But it's not activated. Nope, he's not falling for it. But Xeno Sorofagonax does get off the next hit. Ooh, it's back and forth, isn't it? It's back and forth. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, that's game over for Nopi. Xeno Slick Goat, Usuro Faganax, proving too strong, getting off on a Magma Blaster, and getting the job done. And it is Xeno Slick Goku advancing to the last 16 round, where they will take on Pilk. Wow, that's Nopi, another top 8 combatant, knocked out to the last 32 round. Right, let's have a look at the brackets, and we can end the session. And it's been, it's definitely been a long one. Well, that definitely shakes things up in this bracket, doesn't it? Laos winning group, no, they didn't win group B, Heady did. Laos, the, the serial winner, two-time champ, gone. Engineer Gaming, group A winner, looked strong, gone. Nopi, also a group winner, looked strong going into the knockout rounds, gone. And well, help me got getting through as well. <laughs> so yeah, this bracket is definitely looking interesting and Looking at this whole bracket here, I would probably say this is a very good bracket for me and Queen. And I feel like whoever wins this matchup will probably be the favourite to get to the final from this section. Providing whether that's me or Ultima Dino Queen. So I feel like this match is huge. Given that Lausp is now out, and Nopi and Engineer Gaming are all out. 
And like, no, like, no disrespect to the guys who got through, because they did well to get through, but I look at these matches, I would rather take my chances against Moloch, Pilk, and Zeno than I would against Lausp, Engineer Gaming, and Nopi. And I'm sure Queen would probably think the same as well. Of course, we got the Dark Horse up here, Diddy Darius. Could they make a final? And we got Fool's Cat Amato as well. But yeah, I don't think I don't think she's gonna get the final. And let's not forget, you know, one of these four is gonna be in the semi-final. And none of these four have ever made a semi-final appearance before, so really exciting. Um, let's have a look at the matchups before we end this. Well, I, um, actually, no, we're gonna end the session because it's been a bloody long one. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I know it was a long one, so if you're still here, thank you for sticking with it. And you are a true legend in my eyes. And I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, you know, do the usual stuff. And stay tuned for next time where we conclude the last 32 round with these four matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.